Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cryptocurrency Arbitrage Trading. Please give me a thumbs up and have a look at the description below where you'll find uh, a lot of discount links for the top um, marketplaces. So in the previous episode we have cleared up a lot of margin and we are free to look at the new opportunities. We have this position which is a long September XBT USD future and um, it's it's a YOLO position. I was uh, using this uh, contract to just capture this massive spread because it's a very liquid um, uh, product. So I will cancel my orders which were capturing this spread. We are now left with only one order which is just to close this XBT USD position. We can shift it if it's not competitive. How about this? Post reduce only why ah, okay so this position got okay fine. Um it, it's all good. It just didn't refresh in time. So going back to this September future, so we don't have any orders in this order book. Um I I think we should sell whatever we have here. However, unfortunately, there isn't enough liquidity in this um, order book to sell it. There's only 20,000 contracts available to um, to sell into. There are plenty on the um, ask side. And the open interest is absolutely massive. It's 4 million US dollars, 4 million contracts. And that's 392 bitcoins. So how about we submit a stink bid below liquidation price? Um, this is not very accurate. No. No. Still doesn't like it. Okay, so it likes it more at 1.5k. So we cannot really submit much. So let's see whether we'll be able to sell this and I'm not sure what will happen whether the mark price will slowly keep going down over time I wonder whether some of these longs will get lever uh, will get the leveraged and, and liquidated whether some of them will have their stops triggered but our intentions are pure we just want to close our position which is a yellow long and it's an unhedged position which is not what we are supposed to do so how about we start so that the mark price for this contract is really high so doing this will immediately lose us some money so how about we start with this let's start with reduce only Okay, so there is a hidden order there. How big is the hidden order? I hope it's not ours because we had some hidden orders there as well. No, it was not our order, which is good. And the position got closed. Now, do we sell some more? Let's see how the prices have fluctuated there. There were no wicks going down really. So 
So it looks like there will be a rather large amount of hidden orders here. Um, let's reconsider whether we want to sell some stuff. Okay, so I have thought about it and I decided not to proceed and uh, the contract, um, the illiquid September contract is a honeypot. These four million are just asking to get the leveraged. However, if even at this price, 9,051, we hit a 60,000 contract hidden order, I suspect that the amount of hidden orders between 9k and maybe 8, maybe 8.5k will probably be in the range of between 300,000 to a million contracts and while we could certainly push through that I think um, that the losses that we would incur by saying into these contracts and, and not having some stops hit our bids the risk is just too low sorry too high um, and the and the risk reward um, ratio is is too high and I bear in mind that if if we submit an order and then the mark price drops and and the orders drop at some point uh, probably bitmex stuff will just submit some bids anyway to keep the price in check so the window of opportunity would be short so I don't think that with our rather small balance of now, now around 53 BTC, it was 55 prior to selling these 60K at the severely underpriced um, price. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll drop that. We'll come back to these sorts of ideas in the future, um, but at the moment, back to nitty-gritty making small gains so um, this th this whole idea and activity got sparked by uh, the thought that no matter how much money we throw at these bitcoin one bitcoin yen contracts or contracts like ethereum june futures the premium stays pretty much the same so it looks like it's it's a rock solid market maker which will not adjust the prices uh, depending on the open interest so it looks like an entity with unlimited bankroll and that um, brings into my attention that we really need long exposure because we'll always be able to find short exposure which will pay us 10 percent a year in the form of 0.01 percent every eight hours on bitmex testnet but I believe not always we'll be able to find exposure to futures at a discount so at the moment it's impossible and I think it will stay the same and at some point the premiums might get really really high so it looks like the best opportunity at the moment is to again do the crazy Ivan and a completely different thing on the Ethereum USD the premium is is very juicy here oh actually this has dropped a bit anyway it doesn't matter um i think what i'll do i'll just open a rather small we can go for 50 btc which will not take up much margin so that's 32 btc so let's buy some futures Or maybe we can do it this way, post only. And then we'll hedge with the swap at some point. But I think this contract is, is pretty cheap, even though it expires in 20 days. can increase that a bit all right and i think this concludes this episode um i will just keep um hoping to get some fills here and selling the swap 
but I will not market sell into these orders. I would probably just set some mm, limit sales and see how it goes. I don't think it's an opportunity to sell into the underpriced um, asks. But overall, I think that Ethereum will will go up. So it will. So I think we'll get our fills. But let's just wait and see. Thank you very much for watching. Please give me thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and have a look at the link in the description below, which will give you fee discounts.